Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up scheduled or on demand webinars with Webinar Loop. Next, we can go back to the pending button and see what the next steps are. We can see that details and videos are now complete. Our next step is to fill out the schedule. So we'll click close and go to the next step in the sidebar is schedule. Here on the schedule, we can specify the webinar schedule. We can either schedule it for a specific date and time or set it to repeat on a specific day and time. If you schedule the webinar to repeat, you can set your session count. For example, you might want to set a session limit of seven so that the webinar will only run seven times. If you select a specific date, then it will only run on that one single session. You can also select the time zone that you want the webinar to be scheduled by. This can be an important consideration if you're catering to a specific audience, as you'll want to select a time and time zone that's convenient for your attendees to attend. The default is set to International Dateline West. You might want to consider also Eastern Time, which is New York City, or UTC, which is Coordinated Universal Time, also known as GMT or Greenwich Mean Time. Once you've set a future date and time for your webinar, you can go ahead and add it to your schedule. And you'll see that the webinar has been added to your schedule in the table below. If you set a webinar to repeat, you can add that to your schedule. And you'll see that it's added in this separate table here to repeat every Sunday for seven sessions. So that's how you schedule a webinar, but what if you want your webinar to be on demand? Well, let's go back to the details page. And here under webinar type, we can change the setting from scheduled to either live or on demand. So let's set this one for on demand. And then we'll save our settings. Now let's refresh our page. And we'll see now that the tab and the admin bar here for schedule has disappeared. And if we go to the pending button, we can see that schedule is now considered resolved because we've set our webinar as on demand. And that's how to set up scheduled or on demand webinars with Webinar Loop. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.